I'm going through the notebook again to see if there's anything I can look over, especially with the amount of clues I've been getting. Okay, nothing on Eugene. Jake. Old friend, not anymore. Young talent in boxing, friend to Joe and Sonia Dunn. Seems to like Yale, kill Don together. Hide something works for O'Leary, Natalia's bodyguard. Bob Yale. Promising boxer at Dunn's gym vanished the same day that Dunn died. Dunn's gym will have to close if he doesn't fight, ring, champion, stone, and Madison Square Garden. That's his address right there. Son of a venerous poet boxer disappeared. Chess expander box in his locker, killed Don with it, then threw it in the dumpster. So Bobby Yale is the prime suspect at this point. Al Stone, reigning champion fight versus Yale at Madison Square Garden in 17 days. Sonia, Dunn's daughter, cold as ice. Sonia Dunn hired me to find Yale, but doesn't like him. Majoring in business, Sunny University, old safe open with mother's date of birth no longer working. So obviously someone changed the combination, but why and who? Joe, dead owner of Dunn's gym, time of death, Sunday evening, gym closed, sax player. Wife died, focused on Jim, neglected Sonia. That's why they have a very strained relationship. Mary um, cleans Jim, found Dunn's body and called cops. Works at Sam's Diner, same street as Jim. Harley knows Sonia, barely knows Yale. So she was only closest to her employee. Weekly, he works for the tabloid What's News. Caught him on the gym rooftop taking pictures of Sonia Dunn. He confessed that they call him weekly because of how often he allegedly showers, and I'm sure they're right. <laughs> That's messed up. Okay, Desmond. His man guard Yale's place can't go there for now. Dated tennis Helen Moore's America's sweetheart. Frank. Runs BMA, Boxing Managers Association. Weekly will investigate him. Manager of Rain Champion Stone yells opponent. Hmm, let me see if I can piece up any clues, honestly. Ah, uh, let me see. Um uh... There are cards with staff information on Dunn's table. Would that work? Mary has nice handwriting? No, it would not. Uh, so, yeah, I have nothing. Nothing so far that would help me with any type of clues. Seriously, nothing. I don't know. At this point, where can I go? I'm curious. I have nothing to explore here anymore. I know he's mad at me for looking through his locker. Finally, exploring the main scene of the crime. What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... Hmm. 
the noose is too high, so obviously Joe couldn't have done it himself. Someone propped him up why. there. Something just doesn't add up. Exactly. If this detective was not able to reach... Exactly. If he's not able to reach the noose, what makes you think Joe would have been able to? Matt's suspicious, honestly. Alright, I have nothing to do here, so I'm actually going to head out. Where would I go from here, though? That's the thing. I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. So you're really not going to drive? No? I don't... I don't know. Is there any clues for me to look into? Let's try over here. Or not. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little lost. I don't know what to do. I went through every single detail of this boxing gym. I don't see where I need to look. I don't think there's anyone for me to talk to over here. I went through my notes. Went through any and every possible clue here. I don't know. I already went to the diner a couple times. What if I'm able to look around here? No. Nothing. I really don't know what to do. Yeah, it's like I'm only able to look at these two places. And even then, it's not really giving me any other option. If I can't figure this out, I'm going to have to consult with the wiki for help at this point. Or maybe I'll go here one more time. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know. But we need to find Bobby Yale. Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. Yeah, Mary. Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. She is so nice and polite. But seriously though, I don't see anything else I can look into. Unless of course I can always go through the back alley, see if I can retrace my steps. Back at the gym. Not knowing what else to do at this point. Let me go inside through this door. I think I missed something. Did I miss anything? What's that? For Sonia Dunn. Thank you, Mr. Black's hat. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... I knew I missed something. Well, what is it? Read it. What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Oh! <gasps> what? Had it been stolen? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. 
But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... Uh, with your father's death. Oh, oh my, yes. It could be. Will you please give me a moment? Of course. Yo, that is so messed up. You see, I knew. I knew. It's not a suicide. Someone deliberately killed him, placed him on the noose, and took his ring. And now, they decide to leave that ring for Sonya to find. Huh. That is so funny. Okay, so Dunn's wife's wedding ring was in an envelope with Sonya's name handwritten on it. So... Maybe this one? Ooh, that's not it. Um... What about... Huh. This is so... Oh, this one. No. Dude, what what is it then? I don't Uh-huh. No. I really don't know. That's a dud, too. I don't know. Supposedly there's clues for me to deduct, but... Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I am missing something. Jack, Bobby... Al... Sonia. Mother's wedding ring appeared in an envelope, right? Okay, hanged himself from the beam. I don't. Okay. Let me try this again. Supposedly, there's two clues. Maybe this one and this one? Okay. Oh! Okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Oh shit, she's a suspect. She's a suspect. No, come on. All right, another one. Let's let's do another one. Oh man. There is something uh, fishy about Dunn suicide. Just expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Um, Mary put the ring in the envelope. What about this? No, that's a dud. Um, no, that's another dud.
Maybe this one and this one? Oh! Hmm. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Wow, who knew? A new deduction. Holy shit. Okay, another one. This is getting so juicy. So Mary and Dunn were low-key seeing each other. That's why she calls him Joey. Because they were that intimate. So... What if... This one. And what if he actually changed his wife's birthday to hers? Oh! Hmm. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe? Damn, this is a lot of clues. Okay, another one. Another one. I'm getting really good at this now. Uh... So, uh, let me see. Oh, okay, I got it. This one with this one. Yep, I can find her birthday there. Hmm. Yep, this is getting juicy. Wow. Yes. Um I need to search your office. Go on. What the hell? I'm sorry, but maybe I want to, I don't know, open the safe. Like Come on, X. I can't press that. I need to find out her birthday. Hello. Thank you. And there it was. Mary's birthday. A week prior to that very day. Recent birthday? Oh no, she's really taken into the heart then. Just imagine going out on your birthday, possibly hang out with your boss, and then a week later he dies. I would be so sad too. Oh, it opens! Wow, that's insane. Okay, this is a lot to uh, take in at first. A few bucks, just petty cash. Hmm, I never would have taken done for a gun owner. Business insurance policy. Last will and testament of Joseph R. Dunn. You open the safe? Yeah. Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me. Except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Mm. All right. Sorry. Thanks. I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well, uh, he would like to interview you. Why? A woman running a boxing gym? That's quite the story. 
And how did this friend of yours find out exactly? Oh, shit, what should I say? I'm pretty sure he saw the, uh... I don't even want to hear you. I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. Of course. I know she's frustrated with me. Any differences in her tone, body? No, probably not. I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? Mary Purnell. I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Oh, she snatched her information. Thank you. Oh, fuck. She's pissed. She's fucking pissed. Did I do the right decision? Thanks. That's it for now. I get it. You don't like me. But there's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Rest assured, I'll find Bobby Yale. Duly noted, Mr. Blackside. Cool. Damn, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, let me consult with my notebook here. All I know is Sonia versus Mary is a real thing. I mean, look. In her gym and most of her father's possessions, upset about her father's relationship with Mary Purnell. Oh, Lord. Handwritten envelope, her writing. Her birthday was last week, opened Dunn's safe. Playing with Dunn? No. Oh, man. Okay. I gotta go talk to Mary, because this is some gossip. I need to confirm. And, well, not confirm. I need to talk to her about. Let me, let me go out. I mean, I guess Mary felt bad that Joe died and decided to give the ring back to Sonia because she was the next of kin, maybe? That's my theory. I'm gonna go back to Mary and see if she has any more information, especially since, you know, that handwritten note from her. I mean, it's obvious. <sighs> I know you're hiding something. What? Happy birthday. I just found out it was a week ago. Oh, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. I'm sure you received wonderful presents. For example, your date of birth used as the combination for Dunn's safe. Ooh, right in. She shook, look at her. My goodness. I, I can't talk here. My shift is over in 10 minutes. Can you wait a while? Of course. I could wait. Can I get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. So much clocks. Mary Purnell. The angel Joe Dunn found in his golden years. We've been seeing each other for almost two years. Damn, she, she went in. With, well, weekdays I start cleaning the gym at dawn before my shift at the diner. Joey always came in early, just a little after I got there. Go on. He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. 
Did he help you clean? No. Poor Joey. I would never have allowed that. He did more than enough. Would even clean on my days off. Paperwork. He just hated it. But that was just him. Instead of putting off the things he couldn't stand, he did them as soon as possible. One morning, he saw me crying. I was having a rough day and... <sighs> He tried to make you smile. He pointed at the coffee machine. You need a cup of joe and some fresh air. That was the first of many cups on the rooftop. Aww, what a romantic. Which is where Dunn seduced you. That word is a bit too much, Mr. Blacksad. You might be too young to understand this, but real love has little to do with seduction. One day, we realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day. So we began to spend more time together. But you never told anyone. Why did you keep it secret? For Sonia's sake. She and Joey drifted apart after her mother's death. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was. And we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. So he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. He gave me the wedding ring and we decided to tell the world. He Aww. said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. What about Yale? Wasn't he like a son to him? Maybe you already noticed, I, I have a slight cold. I really should be heading home. Maybe you should cover your neck. I lost my scarf a while back, not sure where. And now, if you'll excuse me, that's my bus stop. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Blackstone. Right. Mm. Damn. I mean, we got a good amount of information, though. It's not bad. Mary has a cold. She left her scarf somewhere. Question is, is it in the trash? How much do you want to bet this scarf is somewhere in the alley in the trash? Okay, so her and Dunn were madly in love, which is cute. No scarf here. That goat is still passed out. Let me look in the trash. And if it's not in there, I bet it's somewhere in the gym. Nope, somewhere in the gym. The fact that I've been in the same two spots for how many episodes now? Intense. This is a lot of deduction, detective work and everything. Oh, man. If her scarf is here, then I'll be able to find it. And see... Well, then again... If I do find a scarf, what am I supposed to do with it? I'm curious. How much you want to bet the scarf is either in the locker or upstairs in the office? Let me see. Obviously, it's not in the bathroom here, right? Should I look through the lockers again? Okay. No, it's not in here. Next. Mm. 
he better not come beat me up like he did the last episode. Like, that shit was extreme. I see a tie, but that's about it. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Alright, let me just close this locker before he beats me. Yeah, I don't see any scarf here. Is it down here? I'm just re rechecking the lockers again, honestly. Bloody rag. Ugly flag. Nothing. No scarf. Hmm. So, how much you want to bet? I bet it's somewhere upstairs in the office. Or maybe, maybe on the roof. Let's, let's double check. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.